climate change changes so much, then why are the ways in which urban researchers look at and analyze climate change in cities based so much on the same concepts and understandings of cities that we've had for so long. In my previous research, I investigated the urban spatial politics of climate change adaptation. Exploring what I called a political ecology of design, I looked at plans and projects proposed by cities facing environmental threat. Looking at distinct sites and the local and global relationships among them, explanations about what was going on extended beyond the sites and projects in question. And I want to highlight two observations from this work that I think are particularly helpful to contextualize today's talk. So the first, climate change response strategies in seemingly disparate cities are highly interconnected across space and time with economic and cultural historical relationships, as well as specific disaster events driving the formation of urban governance networks and the motivation behind urban uh, environmental projects. Observation two. So urban ecological problems such as flooding in cities are due to interrelated spatial, biophysical, and sociopolitical factors across an urban region. Different worldviews of urban ecologies define how we think and act on these problems. The issue is not really about what was the best plan for the problems. Rather, it was about contests and claims over urban futures. Design occupies an odd place in scholarship and practice, so simultaneously invoked as process, practice, and outcome, it trades on both an internal, often esoteric system of terminology and protocols and an external technocratic system of production. So design's object of research, just to take social science research seriously, is often quite elusive. It is at once empirical and projective. And here I take urban design to be the whole thing, the system, the entwined imaginaries and practices of actively imagining and intervening in urban social and spatial change. So the two takeaways that I would offer, first, designers should seriously take seriously political education, including theories of social change, critical world histories, and critical pedagogies, learning how to learn from diverse global sites. So beyond aspects of participation and, and engagement that we, we do talk about a lot, more concerted attention to the places of design within broader organizing movements for social change would enable us to think of new ways to practice, uh, but also help designers to understand better when to, to stop and step back and learn from others. Mm -hmm.